Hey guys, Brian Coat here with Pure Gravel. I'm here with a literal legend, Rebecca Rush. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I just went for a bike ride, so I'm did happy. You? I did. First yes. of all, let's address something. We're in Monterey, California, and it is hot. It's hot, yeah. I've got sweaty armpits. It's hot. I drank all my water bottles, but it's really nice to see everyone out racing and riding and enduro, downhill, gravel. Yes. It's, it's a good energy here. Sea Otter is becoming almost like a class reunion. It is. Especially after being at home for a while, this is definitely a really nice reunion to see all our friends. When was your first Sea Otter? My first Sea Otter, I was trying to think about that while I was riding. Um, I don't actually remember. Um, probably 15 years ago. Okay. Somewhere around that. I yeah. have you beat, I was here in the late 1900s. Yeah, okay, well. 98? <laughs> I was definitely, no, I was doing other sports in 98. I was okay. adventure racing and rock climbing and paddling. Nice. So, so we're here for this weekend. Yeah. What's the, what's the goals for this weekend? You've got a lot of plates to spin. I have, my big goal for this weekend is really um, to promote the Live Edition, the Be Good Edition of the Live to Boat gravel bike and fundraise for my Be Good Foundation. So there's a lot of amazing collaborations coming together. The Be Good Foundation is all about um, empowering people through bicycles. And we've got a scholarship fund we've launched here. We're doing a raffle. And of course, the Live, Devote, Be Good Edition new gravel bike. Okay, so is this a uh, unreleased or it's released? It's released. It's available. We're demoing it here now. Um, someone will go home with one of these beauties this weekend. So, and without getting arrested? Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. And so I'm really, the whole mission of this week is be good and okay. getting people gathered in to be good. But of course, connecting to my partners and my friends and, and the cycling community and doing a few bike rides. That is priority on the list. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, you were recently inducted in the Gravel Bike Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Thank you. That is a, that's a big honor. And uh, what does that mean for you? Well, this is my second Hall of Fame, so it's kind of weird to say that. I'm in the Mountain Bike Hall of Fame, which is pretty recent as well. Um, and yeah, the Gravel Cycling Hall of Fame, it's, you know, this is the first induction class. And it's, I've been thinking a lot about gravel, and I'm a mountain biker at heart. But mm -hmm. um, I have a, a, RPI has been 10 years now. I was a pretty early adopter to gravel, which I went to gravel kicking and screaming. Because I'm like, I'm a mountain biker. Like, I don't. I don't ride road and no drop I, yeah and I was just really pleasantly surprised many years ago to you know 12 years ago to find that gravel really is this kind of like a mix of road and mountain everything that's cool about about cycling and and I fell in love with it and launched my own event I raced a lot on gravel won a bunch of events um, but really discovering gravel for me was discovering a place where everyone is welcome and mm -hmm. it really feeds my adventure spirit. I'm still a mountain biker as well, but um, so yeah, the Gravel Hall of Fame, it's, I'm proud to be like recognized by my peers. Um, I'm proud to help get more people into cycling, but I also feel a little humbled. I mean, there's people like, I'm kind of a newbie to the gravel scene if you really think about it. Um, People like Corey Godfrey, who's being inducted, you know, they're they're riding and developing gravel courses long before it was cool. Right. You know, I think I was gravel racing long before it was cool. You know, I went and raced hard on, on some gravel courses, and now it's like a thing. And and I think what's really cool is is being through that progression. Now there's equipment specifically designed for gravel. Right. You know, my first gravel race, I, I rode a cross bike and just you know, run what you brung and just kind of <laughs> did it that way. And now there's like gravel specific equipment. There's people that are only gravel racing and the gravel racing, gravel is the fastest growing, you know, segment of cycling. And so, you know, I'm, I'm honored to be in the Hall of Fame, but I'm also just more excited that I can contribute to something that I love. And that's what Be Good's about. That's what my mission's about. And is like, I want to push myself, but I want to bring other people along on two wheels with me. Do you think gravel is sort of a stepping stone into a few other aspects of cycling? I think, yeah, I think gravel, <coughs> you know, there's a lot of people that's like, oh, I'm just a gravel rider or you're just a mountain biker. I'm a cyclist, you know, and, and I right. do think gravel is a really nice welcoming place for people that might be intimidated by mountain biking, intimidated by road, or they just don't know. Um, it's a little more low key. And I do feel like it's a welcoming place for people to come in and, and spin their wheels, literally. And hopefully they expand their, you know, their cycling um, genre. But if, if somebody just comes to gravel and stays on gravel, like, that's great, too. There's a lot of good dirt roads around the world to go exploring. Especially here. Yeah. In Monterey, <laughs> California. You are the 
name, the face behind RPI. Tell us how that's grown. Uh, Private Idaho, um, well, 10 year anniversary this year that we're celebrating. Congratulations, I'm really excited. 10 years. So it's grown in participation, but it's also grown in, um, in not just people who are coming to Sun Valley. So we have, um, it's, you know, we've grown in distances, 20 mile, 50 mile, 100 stage race all in Sun Valley, but we also have RPI Base Camp, which is an eight-week training program with okay. myself and my coach. We have RPI Remote, so people can design a course and race on the same weekend at home. So it really has become much bigger than people coming and riding in my backyard. And I, that's how I launched it first, like show people this beautiful place, give them an adventure, and they'll fall in love with, with protecting the places we ride and how we ride. But it's really expanded um, to kind of a, a digital and global platform. and. You know, but it's still the roots of like, come come ride with me. I right. mean, that's why I launched RPI is like, come ride in my backyard, come train with me. You know, come yeah, hang out with me on a bike. And I'm I'm, I never thought when I launched it like I was like nobody's gonna come, nobody's gonna come. <laughs> but people like Dan Hughes, who's also being inducted to the Hall of Fame, Yuri Oswald, who's a good friend, they're like people Legend. will come, people will come. And so I started it 10 years ago, and now it's a 1,500-person race with a digital platform. And yeah, I'm I'm pretty proud of that um, because it's a lot. It's a lot of work. Um, it is behind the scenes. It's a lot of work to put on an <laughs> event. But I always stand at the finish line with tears in my eyes. Like I'm as as excited and and proud of that as I am any world champion podium that I've stood on myself. You know, it's it's much nicer to open your arms wide and, and see other people reach their podiums. Well, congratulations. We're excited. <laughs> Thank you. I, I feel like Sea Otter isn't complete with your without your presence. Ah, in well, I'm here the whole week. Yeah, anyone come see me. Uh, and we are at the we're at the Live. Yeah, booth. this is the Live Cycling booth, and we've got a Be Good Foundation booth within, and yeah, fundraising for the RPI scholarship program okay. that's bringing more people into cycling who typically haven't been involved. And um, yeah, and I've got books and all sorts of things. And so, how can bumps. people sort of? find you either on social or, or web social um, is um, just my name Rebecca Rush R-U-S-C-H even if people aren't here at Sea Otter and they want to be part of the Be Good Foundation raffle and scholarship program we've got a little QR code online that people can be part of so even if not you're here you're, you're still here right <laughs> Man, that is a lot of hats I know, I to wear. I feel like I just like said so much, <laughs> but there's a lot going on. It is really cool. Obviously, you can feel the energy being back here together oh, in our cycling community. Definitely. It's We're here awesome. with Rebecca Rush, cyclist. We'll just say cyclist. Great. Author. Explorer. Explorer. I like to call filmmaker. myself Explorer. Yeah, yeah. A uh, <laughs> number of things. So it's, it's an honor and congratulations Thank on getting so into much. the Hall of Fame. Be good. All right. <laughs>